Monday is the 74th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. That day, more than 2,300 service members were killed, with another 1,100 wounded. That also started the U.S. involvement in World War II, as we know. The small town of New Richmond has spent the last 30 years remembering that very day and those in their own community who served. Nine on your side's Chris Riva has the story. Along the Ohio River, Downtown New Richmond is ready for the Christmas holiday, but the first weekend in December is always set aside to remember the Pearl Harbor attack. Sometimes it is so plain, so clear that I'm right back there again. Just past downtown sits a constant reminder of the men from Claremont County I saw Arizona blow that were there that day. When this monument was dedicated in the 1980s, all 17 men whose name is engraved on this stone attended the ceremony. How many of those names that are on that stone are left, are here today, are alive? I got one. It's you. Me. Joe Witt was 17 when he volunteered for the Navy. He served on the USS San Francisco, which was docked in Pearl Harbor that fateful morning. This is a weekend I would love to erase from my brain because in all of the years, I have been away from the war. I still am in the war. And uh, you never, ever get away from it completely. A day in war he has spent years to forget, but he understands the importance for all of us to remember. And each one of them, I heard their story. And I'm telling you that uh, uh, any story from that day is bad. This weekend, New Richmond will once again honor wit and remember those from their community that served, many of which did not return home from the war. And many that did are no longer here to thank. In New Richmond, Chris Reba, 9 on your side.